Hello, my running friends. I have been using Athletic Greens every single day for just over a year now. And today I want to share with you both my objective and subjective results. The objective part is important because I'm going to use actual biomarker data to show what difference, if any, using Athletic Greens had on my health markers. This video has been something a lot of people have been asking for after I made my first video on my experience with Athletic Greens after 90 days. So I'm excited to make this follow up. To frame our discussion, I'm gonna make this video into four sections. First, I'm gonna answer some common questions I've received over the year so that we have a more comprehensive understanding of everything. Next, I'll go into the measurable results using Biomarker and Apple Watch data. Then I'll talk about my subjective findings. And finally, I'll discuss my recommendations. So let's get started. Questions. First up, let's answer some questions I often get asked in the comments of my last video and through email. When and how do you take it? I take my Athletic Greens every morning, pretty much as soon as I wake up. I put one scoop in 16 ounces of water. I do this because, one, taking supplements on an empty stomach usually works better since they get absorbed better. And two, starting my day off with 16 ounces of water has been a big goal of mine the last few years, and this helps me nail it. And I'll talk about more about this later in the video. How does it taste? I think it actually tastes pretty good. Now, taste is obviously an objective measurement, but the drink has a sweet, earthy taste. Not too strong, but it's also not exactly lemonade. Personally, I kind of like it because that earthy taste just makes me feel like I'm doing something healthy. Has it changed your diet? I'll get into this more later in the video, but it hasn't really changed my diet all at all. If anything, I actually eat more fruits and vegetables now, and I'll explain why later. For me, using greens as a way to bridge the gap for the vitamins and minerals I might be missing from less often consumed fruits and vegetables. But starting off my day with greens keep me thinking a little bit more healthy and on my conscience, which is why I feel like I've added more fruits and veggies to my diet over the last year. The measurable. Now, let's move on to some of the measurable data I've been able to collect and absorb over the last year. Blood biomarkers. Last year, I knew I wanted to make nutrition a bigger focus. So I actually had my blood markers analyzed to see where I might be falling short and if I had any potential health issues I should work towards improving when it came to nutrition. I used Elo to examine my blood work. I've included a link to their product in the description. Here's a look at the data. As you can see, I was a little high in HDL, triglycerides, VLDL, I've been following my blood markers every four to five months, and I've seen a steady improvement in all of these areas over that time. My latest blood marker was last month, about 13 months after I started using Athletic Greens daily. Now, I'll talk about this a little bit more in the unmeasurable section, but obviously this is 100% the result of the ingredients in Athletic Greens. I am drinking more water, and I'm eating healthier overall. Both a secondary benefit, in part, on when using Athletic Greens. But I could have easily done these alone without Athletic Greens. I just feel like they helped a lot. Sleep. Last year, my goal was improving nutrition. This year, I'm all about sleep. That said, I don't have comprehensive sleep data like I do my blood biomarkers, but I do have some Apple Watch data that I've used occasionally, mainly because it's my wife's watch and I only get to steal it sometimes. The sleep data I have from before I started using Athletic Greens shows I was getting about 1.5 hours of deep sleep every night. This is despite aiming for seven to eight hours of total sleep per night. The times this year I measured sleep quality while I was using Athletic Greens, my deep sleep increased to two hours per night on average. The total could still use some work, but as a percentage, this was a pretty big increase. My hypothesis is that the increase in deep sleep is due to less caffeine, which I'll talk about more in a moment, and the inclusion of more magnesium, zinc, and ashwagandha, or methylic greens, all have which been demonstrated by research to improve sleep quality. In my case, it definitely seems to have worked. Water intake. Honestly, drinking 12 to 16 ounces of water when I wake up has been a goal of mine for 10 plus years. I remember reading about the benefits all the way back when I was still running professionally. Unfortunately, I never quite stuck with it. I would get on a roll for a few weeks and then let it slide for one reason or another. Because I've been so religious about taking my greens every morning, the morning water intake has stayed with me. Increased water intake overall and first thing in the morning has had a huge impact on my appetite, it's been lessened, and just feeling more hydrated throughout the day. Caffeine intake. Unlike water, caffeine intake is something I do consciously track every day. During the pandemic, I was consuming much more caffeine than I wanted to each day, in the 300 to 500 milligram range per day. Yikes. Thus, one of my goals last year was to get this number down, way down. As soon as I started taking Athletic Greens in the morning, the need for caffeine reduced dramatically. In fact, most mornings I don't need caffeine at all anymore, which is a huge improvement. 
This is because Athletic Greens contains adaptogens, which are a class of herbs which help naturally increase energy and decrease fatigue and stress. This is definitely one benefit that I'm surprised me the most and I'm the most happy about. I've reduced my overall caffeine intake to 100 to 200 milligrams per day. Not perfect, but definitely more in the acceptable range in my mind. The unmeasurable. Now that I've gone into depth on some of the improvements I was able to measure, let's take a look at some things that are more subjective. The snowball effect. I wrote about this in my initial 90-day examination and it's continued throughout the year. Taking Athletic Greens in the morning has had a major snowball effect about how I ate the rest of the day. I mentally feel that because I started off so good, I don't want to waste it by then eating bad food. That's not to say I never have candy or chips anymore, my two vices, but it's easier for me to say no and turn to healthier options instead. More fruits and vegetables. Now, this is related to the snowball effect, but taking Athletic Greens has prompted me to actually eat more fruits and vegetables throughout the day. The first reason is that I mentioned before, starting off the day right sets me up to want to eat better throughout the day. In particular, using greens in the morning has me thinking about vegetables right as I kick off my day, and it kind of stays in my back of my mind that, oh, I should eat a fruit or a vegetable with this meal or as a snack. Secondly, I think one of the main reasons I didn't eat as many fruits and vegetables before is that I always felt like I needed to get variety. So I would buy a lot more exotic fruits and vegetables. But when mealtime came, I wasn't quite sure how to cook them or pair them with the meal they were eating, especially with kids. As a result, I'd often just skip adding them to the meal altogether. This is where a green supplement really helps. I don't feel the stress of having to go crazy with variety to add in all the micro vitamins and minerals from different fruits and vegetables. I get those from the greens. This makes me feel more able to eat the staples that I know and like and that are easy for me to cook and easy for me to find in the grocery store. Obviously, this isn't gonna be the same for everyone. I'll expound on this a bit in the next section, but it's really made a big difference for me. Better bowel movements. This one feels a little silly to talk about, but for me, it's been definitely something I've noticed since I started taking Athletic Greens. Before I started using greens, I often had a lot of gas or just felt bloated after dinner, regardless of what I ate. However, about two weeks after I started the 90 day greens challenge, those stomach issues have basically disappeared. I really haven't had any problems since. Athletic Greens contains fiber and probiotics, which are likely the reasons I've had more consistent bowel movements and less bloating at night. So will Athletic Greens work for you? Now, these are all obviously my personal results and your experience may even be better than mine, or you may be someone who just doesn't need greens at all. If you're someone who already has a spot on diet and loves adding a ton of veggies and fruits to your daily diet, I don't think you're gonna feel much benefit from taking a green supplement. However, if you're like me and you try to eat healthy but have a few things you need to work on or just need to get more consistent, I think this could be a big help. I realize the initial price tag looks a bit healthy, $77 for a month supply. When I broke it down in my head, I realized this is only about $2.50 per serving. That $2.50 per serving seems even cheaper now that I've seen the benefits. Plus, I'm no longer taking a multivitamin, so that knocked out about a dollar per day. Plus, I'm drinking much less coffee and caffeine, and I don't feel quite as guilty for not always having my fridge stocked with fresh greens, so that knocks off maybe another dollar or two. So basically, it's costing me about $0.50 cents extra compared to my old routine. This to me is definitely a value. In the end, I think it's worth trying at least for a month or two. If you have the ability, take some actual biomarker measurements as well. If you enjoyed it, definitely keep it going. And if you saw your biomarkers improve, keep it going as well. And if not, there's no harm. But Athletic Greens make it pretty easy to cancel your subscription. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and a look at my experiences and data with Athletic Greens. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And hope to see you in another video and thanks for watching.